I guess started in art when I was pretty much a kid, you know, doodling and drawing and all that stuff. To a point where my parents were gonna think of sending me to the Art Institute, but that kind of fell through. And I just doodled and kind of actually gave up the art thing, mostly through high school. I took a class as a freshman and a drawing class as a senior, and that was it. You know, I got into music. Music was my thing for a long time through college, studied music business and all that stuff. And didn't get into the art thing until working at the Prairie Center, doing the sets construction stuff. So I just decided, hey, you know, I kind of enjoyed this. Like, you finish a set piece and it looked kind of cool. You step back and look at it and thought, wow, that's, that's not bad. And I decided after that, well, buy some of my own stuff and try it at home. And that's kind of where it took off. You know, I did my first painting and I stepped back and looked at it and I thought, this is not bad. Just really enjoyed the final product. Really enjoyed coming up with new ideas and you know, something would pop into my head and I'd think, well, that'd make a cool painting. So go out and get a canvas and or whatever I had laying around. And after building sets and all that stuff, we had lots of scrap wood laying around. So I'd take a piece of scrap wood home and paint on that and see where that went. So and after about two years of, you know, amassing a bunch of paintings, I decided, well, you know, show Betsy at the Prairie Center and see if she likes them and submit my images like every other artist. And she liked them well enough to give me my first show in 2004. I always loved images. I'm, you know, my eyes always attracted to an image. You know, I was always into looking through magazines and looking at photos and, and, and all that stuff and really enjoyed you know the colors and, and the look of something and just kind of wanted to create my own you know a lot of times I'll go out with my digital camera and take photos you know I'll go downtown for a day and just walk, randomly walk around and take photos of stuff and when I come home I'll kind of look through them and see what I have and a lot of times something will catch my eye and I'll think hey that's make a cool painting you know or something that's really small, I'll enlarge it and think, you know, as a four by four size painting, that'd be kind of cool. I used to love to paint musicians and, you know, I had aspirations to be a rock star, so I did a lot of that stuff for a while. Now I've moved to this new show I call Pop Cycle. And most of the image are things that crept into my psyche when I was, you know, a lot younger. Um, one of my paintings, Dueling Jacks, is two jack-in-a-box items. Sometimes it's just everyday objects. You know, I have a, pa a, a painting of a hammer. Just thought, man, I wanted something to paint, and that was sitting there, I had a photo of it, and I thought that might be interesting blowing up. You know, sometimes it's people that I admire. I did a painting of Ray Charles after he passed away. Somebody I always loved his music, I always admired him. Just kind of want to do my own little homage. And the same thing with my, my painting for John Belushi. Always a huge fan of his. Just kind of want to do my own little thing, my own little tribute to them. But that's where some of my painting ideas come from. Some just pop into my head. You know, I just, you know, being a diabetic, I struggle with sugar and, uh, and foods and all that stuff. So I did a painting called Sugar High, which is with Fruit Loops and a Hot Fudge Sunday. two things I really like things I shouldn't be eating you know so was that that painting came out of my frustrations I was going through a science fiction phase looking for science fiction movies and that's where the idea for my painting 9 millimeter ray gun and I didn't want to do just a plain old ray gun so I added some I did a painting several years ago of a 9 millimeter handgun and so I took features of that incorporated it into the, the 1950s ray gun as far as sizes I I like to do big stuff. Unfortunately, because of space in my studio and, and you know getting stuff through doors, I'm a little bit limited there. So most of my stuff tends to be four feet by four feet or, or a little bit bigger. I've actually paid for some canvases early on just to have some some nice stuff to work on. But a lot of times, you know, building the sets, we have a lot of scrap wood laying around, and a lot of times that stuff just goes to the dumpster, and I hate to throw that stuff away. So I'll bring it home and, and repaint it and do a painting on it, you know? So I'll get odd sizes. Um, sometimes, you know, if I have an idea for an experiment for a painting, scrap wood is inexpensive, so I just do it on that, and if I don't like it, I can just repaint it or toss it. 
The medium that I stay with is acrylic. With the acrylics, they dry quickly, so which means you gotta work fast, and I prefer to work fast. I don't like to uh, spend a lot of time cleaning up. And uh, with acrylics, it's all water-based, so you pretty much, you know, put your brushes in water and rinse them out, and you're good to go. I love color, you know. I, I've often thought about just using one color to make a painting, but then I lose interest and want to add more to it. I was always a big fan of Andy Warhol and the fact that he uses so much color. Um, one of the, an artist that I really enjoyed, a Chicago artist, used a lot of colors in his paintings, and that really sparked my imagination. Everything seems to come back around, come in cycles, and you know I've always loved pop art, and with the bright colors and the themes that I've used for this, for these paintings, just settled on. It just came to me one day, pop cycle, you know. And I was also I did a painting of some ice cream push-ups because of all the colors in those and I was looking at that and saw Popsicle and Pop Psycho and I just sat down and scribbled it one day, the, the whole concept of the show. People should come just to enjoy it, to see it, to have fun with it. You know, I'm, I'm not sending any serious messages. This isn't about anti-anything. This is just about promoting fun. There's a lot of things going on that bring people down. And this is sort of an escape for people. You know, just come and look at some pretty colors and enjoy themselves for a few minutes.